Hi, I'm Eddie from Ohio Plumbing DMV, and today we're going to replace a sump pump. I'm going to show you step by step how to do it, um, when to replace your sump pump, and things to look out for. What a sump pump does essentially is it's underground, underneath a concrete scrabble, and when the water comes out of the house, you know, from uh, rain or sometimes it's naturally occurring water underneath houses, um, it gets diverted through piping called drain tile, and it gets diverted and goes into this pit which is about two foot deep and then there's a pump inside it that just pumps it out through this line and pumps it all the way outside it doesn't go into the sewer system it shouldn't it should go outside away from the house and uh, prevents your house from flooding so it's really important we always recommend you replace it every 10 years um, if you're in a house where it runs often even when it's not raining it's probably better to do it every five or so years um, just because it gets used more and the risk of flooding your house and the damage is high. But yeah, let's get to it. So this is the new sump pump that I'm going to install. The way this works is there's always going to be standing water in the bottom of it, but as a water level, as a water comes into the pit and rises, this float rises with it. And then once it gets here, you'll hear a click and that's the switch that turns the pump on, lets it pump out the water, and as the water level goes back down, it clicks back off, and the pump turns off real easy. Another component to this, whenever you replace the pump, it's always a good idea to replace this, and this is called the check valve. This is just a door, as the pump turns on, it lifts open on a hinge, lets the water out, and then when the pump stops, it naturally, the weight of the water shuts this door. And the reason you have that is this pipe runs up, and runs through the house and you may have 20 or 30 foot of sump pump line that's holding water and if it didn't have this check valve all that water will come back in turn the pump back on it'll pump it out and then keep doing this um, so that prevents that and you can see here um, it's actually a little door in there that will open and close as the water turns on okay so to replace the pump we have to access it through this lid. So it has these bolts that are 7 16 and we're gonna have to take those out and then lift the lid so we can access the pump. And then we're gonna want, right here, we're gonna wanna disconnect the pipe. Uh, it's very important that you disconnect this side first because if you open this up all the water is going to come down and I'll show you a trick on how to once you have this disconnected you can stick a screwdriver up there open the door let the water fall into the pit not make a mess and then hook everything up so we're going to take this off first Now that we have the uh, lid off, what we're going to do is stick something up here and let all the water come out so we can replace this guy. So now we can remove this guy. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and all you got to do is just pull the pump out. And this one was still working. We're just going to replace it as preventative maintenance. Now we're going to install the pump. Okay, so for this I have an inch and a half PVC male adapter I glued onto a pipe. Um, and with this, <clears throat> so one thing we're going to have to do is we have to drill a weep hole in the pipe. And so it's literally just a hole in the side of the pipe. Reason being, when you put the check valve up, it can get something called airlock, and the pump can actually stop working and the pit can fill up and flood your house. And so there's a, uh, all the manufacturers recommend you do this when you have a check valve on your line. And usually you can do about a quarter inch hole and you just drill it right here. And usually when I drill it, I'll start it and then angle it down so when it spits out water, it kind of directs it down. You don't want it kind of spitting outside the pump lid, making a mess. And there you 
there you go. This into the sump pump, the adapter. Uh, you don't really have to um, Teflon tape pipe dope. If it leaks a little, it's actually fine. It's not gonna hurt anything. All right, and then it's ready to just be plopped in there. Now it's a good idea before you install it, if your pit is dirty, go ahead and get in there um, and clean out any loose rocks or anything debris in there so that it doesn't mess the pump up when it turns on. All right, so you want to position it. You want to make sure that that float isn't going to hit any of the walls or get stuck on anything, kind of free. And then uh, it's on a nice solid, solid foundation and we can go ahead and put the lid on now. We're going to fish our fires through a hole here. Okay, so now that we have it installed, we're going to go ahead and install our brand new check valve. So for this, it has a glue joint, and these are two unions you can take off. So, and when you glue these up, you want to make sure you don't over glue it, because you don't want to glue your little check valve door shut by accident. So this is the primer and this is the glue. First you apply the primer to the PVC pipe and that's going to soften the plastic and then you do the glue next and um, that's what seals it up. So I'll show you, you just take a little bit like this and just apply it like that on this side and there's a pipe we're going to glue up here. apply the glue okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure this pipe and then I'm, I can glue the other side in and I'm just gonna eyeball this I know the socket of the fitting is right here and so go ahead and mark that and then you can cut the pipe with a hacksaw I have this nifty little tool a shear tool, which is awesome. And then I'm just going to cut it on my mark. All right, and then we're going to just take this off and follow the same process of primer and glue. So we're going to follow the same process. We're going to prime this side, and then we're going to prime this side. All right, now we're going to glue it. Then we just need to line these two up like that. And we just need to tighten it down. All right, and we're probably going to give the glue about five to ten minutes to set up before we turn on the pump and uh, give it a test. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and plug it in and test it. sump pump. Hi, I'm Eddie from Heil Plumbing and if you like this video please subscribe and also if you need some online consultation we offer virtual plumbing and you can contact us um, through our website heilplumbingdmd.com and get in touch with the master plumber if you are need a little bit of help working through your issue and you need some professional advice.